Somebody asked me about doing a 10 day fast. Won't you lose a shit ton of muscle? Well, yeah. <laughs> so? Which you gotta realize that you could build it back. At least I can, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not scared. No, no, no. I'm not scared to lose my muscle. I'm not scared to lose my money. I'm not scared to lose my mama because I put all trust in God. That's it, I don't care. If you live your life scared about what you're gonna lose, you're not gonna do anything different, right? You gotta be willing to sacrifice to receive. There is no king without a sacrifice. There is no growth without a death. There is no getting without a letting go. And so, we spend a lot of our time in the anabolic, reaching, going for, grasping, aggressive way of getting things. But did you know that when you create a vacuum by letting things go, getting rid of things, stripping things away, that the universe, that God hates a vacuum, draws things to you. So we don't always have to be grasping. I need, I hold on to, I gotta hold on to that girl, I gotta hold on to that money, I gotta hold on to that muscle. A lot of times, many of the times, when you learn how to allow, you let things go. So just like a boomerang, but better, something comes back to fill it. Laws of nature, y'all. I do Muay Thai, you know. I've been doing Muay Thai. So pow pow pow. I know how to I know how to take somebody out now. I used to just be a beast. I would I would win fights just because I'm strong and I'm aggressive. I don't know how to fucking fight. For the past six months, yeah, I've been I've been doing bah, bah. So that's my jab. Right? Jab. Right hook. <laughs> boom. Boom. Yeah. So I've been enjoying that. Experience with ay ayahuasca. Turns out I actually didn't do ayahuasca. That's how fucking ignorant I am about the things that I do sometimes. You know the problem is with people that do these, do a lot of these like trips, ayahuasca journeys, they gotta come back to fucking life and integrate that shit. And mama ayahuasca ain't gonna help you integrate that shit. She gonna slap you in your head and say, hey, this is what's going on inside you. You might wanna know. And then you gotta go back to, you gotta go back to real world. And what I find is that like, <laughs> A lot of people who keep doing these mama ayahuasca trips are people who are like, they were addicted to something else before that. They're either smoking a lot of weed or addicted to heroin or, you know, so, or, or just addicted lovers, you know? And so then it becomes another addiction. Addiction to psychedelics, ecstasy, running away. Look, we fucking live here. And if you gotta keep running away so that you can cope, ain't that practical. So I'm not against, I'm not against any of that. Shit, I like smoking weed. I love running away. <sighs> and soothing my pain every once in a while. But the key is to make it practical. What, what, what can you now, how do you now integrate that into your life? Do you believe alien, <laughs> aliens exist? Fuck yeah, I believe aliens exist. I think we might be aliens. Look at that guy. I think aliens rule our world. You ever watch like, uh, who's that British guy? Yeah, David Icke. <laughs> I think he knows what he's talking about. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we, uh, if we were ruled by reptilians and angels or aliens. Muhammad asks, what's the worst mistake I can make at 18 years old? The biggest mistake you can make at this point is try to push too hard. You wanna kind of allow your path to unfold, allow it to be shown to you. There's this 
tendency to overdo the extroverted thing. You gotta go get, you gotta go do, you gotta go more. And it's all out there, so we're so outward focused that we don't realize that our life can be led. Our life can unfold. We can allow our lives to be without always having to reach and, ra and grab. And, and so I'm a reacher, I'm a grabber, I'm a go-getter. And I learned this, so that's why I'm offering you as an 18 year old, a little bit of my wisdom. I burnt myself out a lot. I waste a lot of energy, spilling up my jizz all over the place, trying to get everything. And then in my wisdom, I've discovered that if I have the intention, pure intention, meaning that it's truly coming from my heart, what it is that I want and it's not coming from distraction, from ego, that if I just open myself up and allow it to be received, those things that I want, God wants for me, so I don't have to reach. <laughs> These people in, in Elliot and the steroid, you love, you love that, because you feel diminished. That's the thing. You know you feel diminished when you send judgment, evaluation, outward. I've answered this question a thousand times. I used for about three months in like 2009. Tore my left bicep, never touched this shit again. <clears throat> Steroid. The shit works, that's why I made a video about it. I don't eat it. I'm 40 years old and I'm still fucking jacked. 